Are triples trash? Are they worth it? One buy is pretty expensive. Why would anybody want a triple? They're cheap. One buy drivetrains, they look really cool. They're simple to operate, which is great when you're going fast on technical terrain. Uh, but if you're exploring some dirt path on your way back from the grocery store, triple is going to be just fine. They're everywhere. Most entry-level fitness, commuter, mountain bikes, they're all going to have a triple. If you're mechanically inclined, every bike co-op in America is going to have a gently used high-end triple crank set and derailleur in a parts bin for way less than you'd spend on a wide range 1x9 setup. They're reliable. Top of the line mountain bikes were using triples from the 80s to the mid 2000s. Obviously somebody figured out how to make these things work right. Just make sure to add an inline barrel adjuster if your shifter doesn't have one. Or I mean look at this, you got all this junk in here. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be absolutely fine. Matter of fact, it loves it. It's a lot of stuff, it's a lot more than I thought it was, okay? The Shimano XTR M980 line came out in 2010, and they were still using mostly triples. XTR didn't drop the triple crank set until 2018. Who is going to steal this bike? I mean, I know this looks like a homeless person's bike, but who's going to steal this? Nobody's really going to steal this. It looks like junk. It does not worth money. It'd be cool to get around on. Uh, you know, it's got everything a homeless person wants, but who's going to steal it? Nobody. They make your bike look cheap and less likely to get stolen. They don't look cool. I lock this bike up in CD places all the time with just a cable lock and it blends right in. I used to have this bike set up with super wide gravel drop bars, a beat up Shimano Acera rear derailleur, a front Claris derailleur because the STI brifters don't have the same pull ratio as a mountain bike front derailleur. I've since changed the setup and upgraded the drivetrain and shifters. I always felt like this bike was too slow since the drops put you in an aero position. The sweat back bars put you in an upright position and you don't feel like you need to go as fast. It also lets you get further back over the rear tire for steep drops and rock rolls if you're into that sort of thing. First and first mostly, I don't think triples and STI brifters work well together. There's a small amount of trimming that you need to do to keep everything quiet. Brifters don't have the indicator like the older Shimano mountain bike shifters to tell you what gear you're in. So you end up just staying in the smallest chain ring, then shifting to the largest when you're in the top rear cog and you hear a bunch of noise the whole time. It's a nightmare. My advice is to only run a triple with mountain bike shifters that have an indicator. Secondly, if you're going to run a front triple derailleur, get a higher end one. Acera, Olivio, Altus, Claris, these are all going to drive you nuts. They flex too much when shifting and it's tough to get it to pull the chain to the largest chain ring. Try and find a used 8 or 9 speed XT front triple and you'll be delighted how crisply it shifts and how little trimming is required to keep everything quiet. Lastly, it seems like mountain bike double chain rings didn't last that long in the marketplace. There are some entry level bikes with micro shift 2x9 setups that I've never used one. The XT and XTR lines got rid of the double front chain ring after a couple of years so there's pretty limited offerings on the used market. Are triples trash? Are they worth it? They're great for any bike that you aren't specifically using to go fast. A commuter, cargo bike, touring, tall bike, ATB, backup mountain bike, be great candidates for a triple. If you're riding a road racing bike or a purpose-built mountain bike, triple's going to drive you insane. Skip it.